Welcome to today's QK's Group's Expert Edge episode with Sopra Stadia. In this session, we discuss about the ethical considerations of AI. I am Akash Disolkar, an analyst in the artificial intelligence domain, along with Madhu, senior analyst in data analytics and AI domain. Together, we welcome our guest speaker, Helen Chibel, Group Ethics Advisor at Sopra Stadia. With a decade of experience in bioethics, Helen collaborates with the head of corporate responsibility at Sopra Stadia to advance the company's internal digital ethics action plan and develop best practices. She is deeply involved in learning and raising awareness among group employees and also engages with external partners and students. Additionally, she supports compliance efforts in her role as a public affairs officer. Now, without any further ado, let us start with the discussion. Artificial intelligence has transitioned from a futuristic concept to an integral part of our daily lives, shaping industries and transforming our interactions with technology. However, the ethical implica imp implications of AI are paramount to ensure its benefits align with human values and avoid unintended harm. This discussion will dwell into the core ethic prin uh, principles guiding AI development, including responsible AI, explainable AI, and adaptable AI as well. By adopting these principles and co collaborating with stakeholders, organizations can harness the power of AI while ensuring it remains ethical and beneficial to the society. Now, I would like Madhu to walk us through her perspective and understanding of ethical AI. Thank you for a brief introduction, Akash. So uh, we all know that uh, transparency is the key to AI ethics, right? So AI system, uh, though they cannot operate in black boxes like other models which work. So uh, mainly when we talk about, uh, they do not work in black boxes. It is mainly in uh, regions like healthcare, finance, and legal sector, uh, where the decision has to be very clear and it has to be accountable. So uh, with this, uh, there comes another concept like explainable AI, where uh, when making the process, the whole complete AI process understandable to the users uh, is very important to build their trust and uh, also to ensure fairness among the models. So this is not only to uh, this is not only to attract the customers, but it is also to avoid the bias on a larger scale. So it is also about actively training the AI to promote equality, uh, especially in regions like especially in areas like hiring and uh, lending money or loan and uh, also law enforcement. So uh, fairness, uh, where fairness audits, uh, bias mitigation techniques, uh, these all are becoming very standard. So um, with this also comes privacy. So AI systems uh, rely also on sensitive data. So making these data uh, transparent, accessible, yet anonymized and robust, uh, it is very important. Um, when, uh, when we talk about the privacy, accountability also joins in. So, uh, you know, there must be a clear path to assign responsibility if AI system fail or cause harm. Uh, it has to be uh, ensured properly, uh, a, prop a proper oversight. So, uh, last but not the least, uh, I would like to talk about sustainability. So, because this, is, this has become a very growing focus now. So AI development must consider its long-term societal and environmental impacts as well. So integrating sustainable practices to mitigate ecological footprints uh, is very important for uh, any uh, AI uh, for any AI service vendors right now. So I would like to know from Helen that uh, uh, what is Sopra Stereo doing uh, to stay up to date with this technology? Thank you, thank you, Madhu. Thank you, Akash. Um, at Superstaria, we work on ethics and AI in three dimensions. First of all, we have partnerships with several organizations or programs whose activities relate to this subject. For example, in France, since 2020, we have been part of Confiance.ai, a French collective of unprecedented scale to design and industrialize systems based on Trust AI, which brings together nine large groups four research centers, four agencies, standardizations, and more than 50 partners, including startups. We also work with professional associations whose objectives are to develop new best practices. And of course, we are challenged by our customers who have new criteria in terms of ethics. 
The second point is that Superstaria conducts research with universities and other laboratories. In this way, we develop new te technological capabilities to solve the challenges raised by the ethical principles of AI, such as explainable AI. The third and final point is that for each employee, Superstaria promotes a broad training program from e-learning to face-to-face -to -face training. Since chat uh, GPT, the ethical emphasis is placed on AI, but these questions concern the entire digital sphere, so that the group's actions are not limited to AI. It's a general and holistic reflection that is uh, necessary. Thank you so much, Helen, for highlighting Superstrader's advancement in AI. Now, we all know that as AI becomes increasingly integrated into our lives, it brings significant ethical challenges, like few of the challenges are algorithmic biases, privacy concerns, and even potential misuses. Users are understandably worried and uh, about how their data uh, will be used, whether AI systems will make fair decisions, uh, and uh, even about the security of their personal information. So this lack of transparency in AI uh, decision-making processes has built a lot of mistrust. So, users expect AI vendors to prioritize ethical considerations, ensuring that AI systems are designed with fairness and accountability. So, vendors must implement mechanisms to identify and mitigate biases, protect data privacy, and also provide clear explanation for AI-driven decision building trust. So, now let us bring the AI Act into the picture. The AI Act was introduced by the European Commission as a crucial step in addressing these challenges. It establishes highly st high standards of safety, transparency, and human oversight for AI systems in the EU. By categorizing AI applications based on risk levels, uh, the Act mandates rigorous uh, testing and continuous monitoring, particularly for high-risk uh, sectors like healthcare. It emphasizes the importance of transparency, encouraging vendors to invest in ethical practices, ultimately benefiting society for, for a responsible AI development. Now, Considering these factors, I would like to ask uh, Helen, like, what is Sopra Stadia doing in these spaces? Yes, uh, thank you, Akash. Um, Sopra Stadia has closely followed the work of the European Union for the development and adoption of the AI Act. And now we continue to do so because many details remain to be clarified for the application and the standard of the standard, in particular concerning high-risk AI systems. At the same time, uh, we participate in the work of standardization agencies, such as ISO, Sensenelec, and AFNOR, to anticipate the publication of these standards, which will quickly become essential to all our projects and customers. The AI Act constitutes a huge step forward in the regulation of AI, but its scope is not global, and above all, the regulation will never answer all the ethical questions raised by AI. We must now go behind the AI Act. That's why at Superstaria, we also want to integrate these issues into our governance at all levels. This will, we hope, be the topic of the next Global AI Action Summit, which will take place in Paris in February 2025, after Bletchley in November 2023, and Seoul in May 2024. Thank you, Helen, for telling that. Uh, we hope to get uh, in an invitation, a virtual invitation, to attend uh, this Global AI Action Summit, uh, which will either be in Paris or in Seoul, uh, which, which will be in Paris. So, um, so considering this, so the future of uh, ethical considerations in AI is critical. So, uh, shaping the technological, morale, and societal frameworks uh, within which AI operates, um, so it advances, right? So once it advances, its integration into our life requires a thorough examination of uh, ethical implication. So ethical AI will be crucial for providers, businesses, as well as the end users. So providers must prioritize transparency and accountability, uh, ensuring algorithms uh, are unbiased and uh, decision-making process are explainable, uh, you know, they're trustworthy, uh, they're credible for a broader adoption. So neglecting these kind of uh, consideration 
uh, will lead to backlashes regulatory scrutiny and uh, potential market jeopardy probably uh, also for businesses similarly uh, ethical ai will serve as a competitive differentiator so uh, where companies uh, that can integrate ethical principle into their ai strategies will build a high reputation for integrity and social responsibility uh, implementing strong governance frameworks to monitor ai systems uh, you know they, it, it ensures that uh, like while while ensuring uh, uh, guidelines um, and uh, respecting user privacy is also very important uh, this will safeguard uh, against legal issues and foster culture of trust and innovation and for end users uh it will increase uh, like uh, this this uh, ethical consideration in ai uh, will increase the demand of transparency uh, and fairness from uh, ai driven services uh as awareness of ai uh, like users will seek assurance uh, from technology with with the technology respects as the as the awareness of ai uh, ai bias grows um and also uh, i think it is their right you know uh, to uh, to know that what 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 are their ai models uh, in their uh, environment doing so ethical ai will enhance user experience through personalized uh, unbiased services um, improving satisfaction trust uh, you know while perceived unfairness may lead to user rejection so all of these are uh, currently happening in the market so what to to enhance upon this uh, what is sopra stereo planning for the future or what is probably uh, in this particular section is on sopra stereo's roadmap you you presented the current situation very well madhu uh, today ethics is no longer an option it is a necessity and an obligation uh, society citizens users customers employees and shareholders no longer compromises on respect for values not all values are universal and this is a challenge for an international group uh, like ours so pastaria but reflections on these values allow us to live together and move society forward did at superstaria and always we have made values the foundation of our business positioning for us it's a question of conviction Uh, the group will therefore continue to develop an ethical approach on the free access of projects, research, and training, with obviously at the root of all these uh, a reflection on its own governance. The arrival of uh, of Axel Le Maire as a CSR director last year bears witness to this. Our ethical roadmap for 2025 is therefore ready. Uh, that that's that's great news like that sopra stereo is up to date with the future of ethical consideration and unfortunately that brings us towards the end of our discussion first of all i would like to thank uh, madhu as well as helen for taking our time to join us today and share your expertise on the ethical considerations of ai your insight uh, helen your insights and sopra stereo's roadmap in this field are incredibly valuable and we truly appreciate you making this time to participate in this discussion We also want to thank our viewers for uh, for joining us today. We hope uh, you found this discussion insightful. If you find this video insightful, don't forget to like and share it with your fellow AI enthusiast. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the wonders of AI.